Today we're discussing alternative strategies with Chris Thompson, Portfolio Manager, Alternative Assets at Advanced Asset Management. Chris, what are alternative strategies? Alternative strategies is more around traditional asset classes like equities, bonds, bonds, currency, but managing those asset classes in a non-traditional way. So a good example is within equities, is long short equity investing, where a traditional equity manager would just go along the market and you get a long equity exposure. A long short equity manager will buy the stocks that they like and sell the stocks that they don't like, resulting in exposure which will do well, not if the market does well, but if the stocks that they like be better than the stocks that they don't like. There are very many uh, types of alternative strategies, not just equities uh, that we, we invest in. So it's quite easy to put a portfolio of those together that is not only not correlated with equity markets, but also not correlated with each other. Alternative strategies have been the domain of very talented hedge fund investors, legendary investors for the last couple of decades. And one of the benefits of investing in this asset class is that you can get exposure to the most skillful managers in the world. And tell me Chris, what are some of the key risks involved in holding alternative strategies? Alternative strategy returns aren't just coming from the market, they're coming from more than that, they're coming from the skill of the manager. And therefore one of the key risks really in investing in an alternative strategy is manager selection. If you're with the wrong manager, your returns can be disastrous. If you were the right manager, your returns going to be very good. What types of clients might be attracted to alternative investments? Certainly traditionally, um, alternative strategies through hedge fund vehicles were the domain only really of the super wealthy, ultra high net worth. However, uh, through products like ours, they've now become the domain of the more sort of mainstream investors. And we actually believe within a properly diversified portfolio, that they're actually suitable for most investors. And how can alternative strategies be used as part of a client's portfolio? Most advisors we find uh, will use it not as a replacement for any asset class, so we're not saying it should be a substitute for equities, but as an additional asset class or strategy in a portfolio. One of the things looking at typical clients' portfolios that you'll see very quickly is that apart from, let's say, their property, their portfolios tend to be dominated by equity market exposure. And the great thing with alternative strategies, because of their low exposure to markets, low correlation with markets, is that they provide a very good complement to a portfolio that is laden with equities. And Chris, finally, how does the advanced alternative strategies multi-blend fund work? Well, first and foremost, it's a multi-manager fund. So we're accessing different strategies, as I described, through multiple different hedge fund managers throughout the globe, about 15 of them to be precise. What we've done differently in this fund to some of the traditional hedge fund of funds of old is that rather than just invest in a whole lot of hedge funds, we've targeted and concentrated our hedge fund investments to those 15 funds and supplemented those investments with what we call alternative beta and replication strategies. The end result is a fund that is lower fees for the investor and better liquidity. It really becomes a sleep at night portfolio for clients and their advisors.